Leo Jenkins, the single most important leader in the making of East Carolina University as we know it today. From a very early age, he learned the value of a dollar. He was a master at doing a lot with a little. He was a teacher. He was an educator. We had no money to speak of. Six children on a state employee's educator's salary is not wealthy, but he certainly could attract wealthy people into his sphere. He knew how to do that, and he did it well. And he did it because they could see the financial reason for building East Carolina into a regional university. He tapped into the community and found willing givers who no doubt were inspired by his own generosity with his time, with his energy, and his dedication. He was just a real party kind of fun guy to be around. They, they kind of flocked to him. And he took good advantage of that, I believe. I think he really did. You know, yeah, you want to have good seats at the football game, it's going to cost you. And he'd say it, of course, jokingly, but that check would get written. It wasn't necessarily the most wealthy people in the state that was on board. It was the everyday man and woman that could give whatever they could give. And over time, it turns in to make a big difference. To say that Fickland Stadium fundraising was a group effort would be understated. It was an effort not only by my family, but of course by many people. One of the many ways that money was raised to build Fickland Stadium, in this particular instance with the tobacco company, they donated a certain amount for every empty package of cigarettes that was collected. We would gather cigarette packs from friends, neighbors, parents, whatever, bring them home and pack them together. We'd gather around the dinner table. Six children, all their friends, all their people. You're going to get 20 kids around the table packing up a lot of cigarettes. Not everybody has a fat checkbook. The people do have other talents and they have abilities and he used to tap into that as well. So I think he defined philanthropy much more broadly than simply financial contributions. He was an amateur painter. He sometimes joked that he didn't make a whole lot of money, but that he could paint. He would often give the paintings as gifts. It would be handed to you by Dr. Leo Jenkins. Almost always recognized on the part of the recipient that they had also given to something that Leo valued, and he in return rewarded that in a modest way with the painting. This one was given to W.M. Booker Scales, who led, uh, in part, one of the drives to raise funds for what would become Ficklin Stadium. And that was a gift to him for his work. What is not quite as well documented is the role that my mom, Lillian, played in the success of East Carolina. Time and time again, people would tell me that as soon as they walked in and they were greeted by my mom, she made you feel very important, made you feel like we had known each other forever. My father was asked about his legacy. He said in his opinion, his greatest accomplishment was instilling a sense of pride in the people of the East. And he said that people in Eastern North Carolina walk a little taller because of ECU. I and my whole family are honored that he's being honored once again. Well-deserved and a wonderful way to remind people of who he was and what he did for this community. I also think that he would be thrilled to know after all of these years that he's still remembered and still respected.